pick the next cards. Okay, I think so too. So, first one, spades. Let's see, we have... Ooh, a king. Ooh, okay. So the king... Oh, great. Tomorrow I was thinking go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Awesome. All right. So we will say tomorrow I think I will go to the store. So when we think about um, the future, we will say I think I will go. Or you could say, you could say, I was, I was thinking, I was thinking, I will go to the store. And we always say a store if we mean any store, and the store if we mean the, like, the store I usually go to. Usually we say the store. Tomorrow I was thinking I will go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Excellent. Okay, I hope you can see what I did here. So, tomorrow, I was thinking, it's like... I was thinking that tomorrow I will go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Oh, we need it. That's okay. To pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Oh, we need it. That's okay. Breakfast can be it. So tomorrow I was thinking I will go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for it. <laughs> for it. Tomorrow is Tuesday. It will be good if I... Yes, it will be good if I... If I buy... It will be good if I buy a circular candy. Awesome. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Let's see. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So, it will be good if I buy a circular candy. <laughs> good. These are good sentences. Wow. They are very, a lot more complicated. Mine was, mine was easy. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's try this one. So, this is a king. So the king means it's a complex sentence. So it can be about, you can change the time of the verb. Yes. Um, so here in your sentence, you have, um, you actually have three verbs. So the first verb is think, and the second verb is go, and the third verb is pick up. <laughs> so, like, we have to think, well, which one is now and which one is in the past? Are they in the future? So, in your sentence, tomorrow you are going to the store. So, you could say, tomorrow, I think, I think I will go to the store. I tried to use your word. I tried to use your word was. You can also say, tomorrow, I think... I will go to the store. It means now I think, tomorrow I will go to the store. So I can even change those to make it clearer. I think that tomorrow I will go to the store to pick up. So here is our next verb. So first we have, I think that tomorrow I will go to the store. That is a complex sentence. Remember, we have our, our dependent clause, that tomorrow, here. So we have our dependent clause, which is tomorrow or that tomorrow. 
I think I will go to the store is our independent clause. And that could be a sentence. But now when we want to add another verb, we have the word to, to pick up. So to pick up is like, um, it's like saying I like to run. I like to eat. I go to get something. So when you have two verbs together like that, the second verb is in the infinitive. That means we don't conjugate it. We don't change it. So I will go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Does that make sense? We have like, we have two tenses here. We have now, now I think, I think that tomorrow I will go to the store. That's a, it's a very complex sentence. <laughs> I think that tomorrow I will go to the store to pick up one pound of circular oranges for breakfast. Yeah. It's a good sentence. <laughs> so now let's use that complex. Remember, a complex sentence, we learned it has an independent clause and a dependent clause. And the dependent clause has a word like while, since, um, but aren't oranges circular, so saying circular is like useless. Um, so it's not useless, it might be called redundant, like repetitive. But we're trying to use the word circular here, so. <laughs> um, but maybe the oranges are not circular. Maybe they are round. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying to use the word circular in a sentence, so. They are circular, you're right. <laughs> um, okay, a complex sentence. So complex has a independent clause and a dependent clause. So his sentence, uh, I think that tomorrow I will go to the store. That sentence is a complex sentence. I ate a circular pancake. Yep. <laughs> go ahead. All right. Complex sentence. Any tense. Past, present, future. We have a number five. Number five is they. Complex and they. So a complex sentence, sentence about they and our clubs is, let's see, number five again, go. Oh, we did go. Let's do a different one. Wait, did we do go? Yeah, we did go. Oh, it's fix. Okay. Fix. <laughs> Oof. This one might be a little hard. And number six, diamonds. Circular. Again, no, 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 not circular again. <laughs> How about number three? Small. Okay. Small. So, for our complex sentence, we have a conjunction like while, after, because, great question, um, so fix, so for example, oh no, my pen, oh, oh no, my pen, I need to fix it. Okay, I fix it. Um, or like something is broken. Oh no, I need to fix it. Like I have Pikachu. Oh no. Oh, I need to fix Pikachu. Oh, okay. I fixed Pikachu. Um, it means something is broken and you fix it. Uh, something, you make it good again. You make it good. They thought of a fix, but their tools were too small. 
feel while I was playing with my small dog. Excellent. Great. So let's see. They thought of a fix, but their tools were too small. That's a great sentence. And you want to use their, their tools. They wanted to use the small table even though it wasn't fixed yet. Great. A fix for the heater is needed, although it is only a small piece missing. Yes, good. And we will say, although there is only a small piece missing. Very good. Wow, these are great. They should fix it a little small wrong after his patch. Yes, okay. So they, they, oops, they should fix. I wrote the same thing. No, I wrote something different. <laughs> Although it is only a small piece missing. Although there is only a small piece missing. Speaking about a game. Although there is only a small piece missing. Yep. There is only a... Oh, I said a. Oh, no. There is a... <laughs> There is a only a. I'm sorry. Oh, let me try to fix it. What is that called when you? It's like an optical illusion. <laughs> Thank you. There is only a small piece missing. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what is that called? You know how um people will write like. They will say like, have a nice, ni nice day, and like people don't see that it says nice two times, right? Like that, have a nice, nice day, and you just read it as have a nice day. <laughs> yes, I am a human. I am not a robot. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, oh, let's go. And I'm reading like. 10 sentences at one time. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm going back up. I have. They should fix it. They should fix it a little wrong after his patch. A small game. Okay, great. A game. So for this one, we would say they should. They should fix the small. Um, maybe they should fix the small, um, so if there is something wrong, something is wrong. Wrong is an adjective and a thing that is wrong is called an error. So I can say they should fix the small error after his patch. Oh, and I said patch. I, I, yes, patch. Good. Patch. They should fix the small error after his patch. Excellent. And what else do we have? Natalia. They think to fix the small car because a cow hit the windows. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good one. Oh, no. I hit a deer one time, so I understand that. Oh no. They... <laughs> yeah, they think... Yeah, they think... You can say they think to fix the small car because a cow hit the windows. Yeah. Oh no. Oof. I hit a deer when I was driving. It was like... Oof. I didn't have a car for maybe five years. Well, yeah, maybe five years I did not have a car. And then I bought a car and then like it was like one week or two weeks after I bought the car, I hit a deer. <laughs> okay, good. I hope that's helpful. I don't want... um I don't want to correct, but I also want you to to fix it. The only thing is that wrong is an adjective and error is a noun. 
So that maybe that's a new word error. Awesome. That's great. These are great sentences. Very nice. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. <laughs> I hope it's helpful. I want to be helpful. Excellent. Okay, are we ready for the next one? Let's try a new one. Those were great. Those were great sentences. And I love how they were about all different things. We have a car with a cow hitting it and a video game or like a, a game, fixing a heater, fixing a unicycle. The tools were too small. <laughs> all right, we are fixing so many things. They should fix the small trouble in the engine before going with the car. Excellent. Before, what will we say? They should fix the small issue. The fix the small issue. What do you think? Issue? I think here we will say issue. The small issue with the car, with the engine, before driving. Before driving the car. Excellent. Or you can say the small problem. Problem. Small problem. Excellent. Trouble we usually say if, like, like a child does something wrong, they are in trouble. Or, oh, I'm having so much trouble with this. I don't understand it. But if it's like a physical thing that needs to be fixed, then it usually has a problem. <laughs> 